Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Opinionated Plays back again with another Dragon Ball Legends PvP video. Today we have a very interesting team here. Uh, the composition is Majin Buu Saga theme. Uh, we have here Ultra Vegito, uh, the new event exclusive Majin Vegeta, and the OG LF Majin Vegeta. Um, the reason I'm using this team right now is to first test and see how good this LF Majin Vegeta holds up in the meta currently. Uh, he's, I believe, two years old now. Uh, he definitely needs a Zenkai at some point, and he also needs a uh, Fry Awakened Plat as well. So. That's number one, and then number two, I thought this event exclusive Majin Vegeta, now that I have him at 14 stars, will be a pretty good tank for this team, and it would be interesting to see how well he performs at 14 stars versus when I initially used him, and I think because he's a defense type, they really need those stars to be able to take hits and then eventually build their damage up, like this Vegeta does. Uh, he also heals a fair bit, uh, heals a fair bit, and then also... Uh, restores Vanish on green, so he has some good utility there, and I also have to use Ultra Vegeta for this team because the kind of teams you're running into don't allow for you to just bring some knockoff team, you're just going to get smoked, as you know, if you play at any type of high rank level, you're going to be facing fusions, androids, everything like that, so I gotta have a hard carry for the team, but I'm going to try to make use of, uh, like, you know, Vegeta as much as possible, whichever one it is, uh, for the match. So, I want to take a look at the uh, event exclusive Majin Vegeta equipment, and then I want to take a look at the LF Majin Vegeta equipment. So here we have uh, triple attack, you have strike attack, blast attack, and special move. Good for him, because he needs the offense. His defenses are good enough, you got to build those up. Uh, this is a very valuable equip right now, because all the Saiyans running around, you get extra defense versus Saiyans. And you also get 16, up to 80% to strike defense and then extra health. So really good in this meta. And then you're also looking at using the Majin Blue Plat. Uh, I need to work on more of these. I only have one that's, I believe, Z. So I have to get some better ones here. But as you can see, you get up to 50% to Q recovery, up to 50% to defenses, and then up to 35% to strike attack. So good for this Vegeta. Now if we look at the Majin Vegeta, I really don't like the equips I have on him that much because overall, feel like there's, you know, some, there needs to be more uh, Vegeta family equips that get awakened or released because, you know, as you can see here, we're not going to make use of the ultimate damage, but we're going to get the special move damage, uh, up to 80% to strike attack, and then up to 50% to blast defense, so that's decent. Uh, you're also going to make use of the uh, Majin Buu Saga Plat, which I need to work on, but it's just still solid because you get a 30, almost 35% strike attack from that, and you already know the rest of the other stats. And then his plat specifically, it needs to be awakened, number one, because I don't believe these numbers are going to hold up unless he gets a Zenkai. You're looking at up to 25% to both defenses, up to 10% to base health special move, and then up to 10% strike attack and 10% damage to Goku. So it's a good equip, but right now it's not going to make that much of a difference versus what you're seeing in PvP, right? So from what I think here, I think it's important to make use of all the different things these characters actually have access to and try to make them look as good as possible. We know Ultra Vegito is going to look really good, we just want to see if these two Majin Vegitos can show out. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Go! <laughs> 